Our today's hero is a genuine British gentleman and a generic mom's friend's son. It's Benedict Cumberbatch. He's the actor who gave us such popular film characters like the modern Sherlock Holmes and Marvel's Doctor Stephen Strange. It was him who represented Alan Turing, a scientist in Imitation Game, and gave his deep voice and Sweeney moves to Smaug the Dragon in the Hobbit trilogy. Of course, he has many more roles. Comment, which film did you notice Benedict Cumberbatch by? Like this video while watching the BB Girls opening. Generally, Benedict Cumberbatch isn't an actor who attracts public attention by fashionable clothes. However, his gentleman style has become his distinct feature. He's mentioned several times that he had posh British upbringing, which influenced his traditional approach to fashion. Let's look at what he is like, the modern gentleman, and what he wears. Suits We are going to start our story with suits, as they are the main garment in Benedict Cumberbatch's wardrobe. Actually, suits fit him far better than everyday casual clothes, thanks to his natural appearance. His suits are usually dark blue, navy blue or black. Benedict is quite tall and thin, and his suits are always tailored perfectly for his frame. By the way, he doesn't call stylist for help. For this look, Benedict wore a charcoal black three-piece suit. The lower jacket's button is undone, following all the gentleman's rules. The suit's fabric has a large and sharp texture. Benedict has chosen a maroon blue tie with a pattern for this outfit. Shoes are a shiny leather pair. This look isn't a bad option, but it'd be better with fewer wrinkles on trousers. By the way, Benedict is a huge tennis fan himself. He also wears suits to Wimbledon tennis tournaments. This dress code is a rule of etiquette. Here he's wearing a Richard James faded blue suit, white short with faded stripes and a green tie with a tiny pattern. Pay attention to the tie. It has a square end. Such ties are considered to be less formal than pointed end ones, and you may wear them in case you want to relax your outfit a bit or surprise the public. The jacket has bone buttons, which match its color shade quite well. The accessories are represented by sunglasses in a black and gold frame, a watch with a leather belt and a Wimbledon button pinned below the boutonniere. A man sitting with Benedict is his father. He's wearing an elegant striped suit, pink shirt and good matching tie. The actor likes monochrome outfits. Quite often he matches the outfits of his wife. For example, there's a look with a black jacket with show labels, black trousers, shiny shoes and bow tie with a slight blue tint. A small detail, a small button saying Save Soho, a campaign to protect the performing acts in London's Soho. Next one is a similar but a sharper look, where the black jacket has sharp labels, plus black trousers and satin black tie. The short is also classic white, like in the previous outfit. This look also fits the dress of Benedict's wife, who wore minimalistic black dress both times. Layers Benedict loves laid looks very much. He looks both stylish and pretty classy wearing a look made of a white t-shirt, red zipped hoodie, dark blue jacket with large box pockets, combined with rolled up blue jeans and brown leather shoes. There's a cozy knitted grey scarf with a large pattern. Scarves, by the way, are all the beloved items of the actor. Such a look visually broadens the shoulders area, and Benedict's shoulders are actually a bit narrow. White t-shirt, grey crew neck sweater, classic black trench and black jeans. That's another elegant and stylish outfit. Benedict has chosen black leather shoes with brown soles. You may ask about the color of the soles. Well, it's aimed to fit one huge detail that is a large brown leather satchel, a little bit faded but still stylish. Blazers The actor constructs such looks in a practiced way. 
following all the rules of genuine British elegance. For the next look, Benedict has chosen a light white shirt, linen patch pocket blazer in a rust color, black jeans and black desert boots. This ensemble looks half formal. Due to the absence to tie or bow tie, unbuttoned shirt and color combination. However, the sharp labels don't let the look relax totally. A playful, but at the same time a restrained look, it's a black shirt, grey blazer, black jeans and black sneakers with white soles. Benedict also added a thin grey scarf, black sunglasses and a white flat cap. Such caps will be discussed further. The overall look is monochrome and relaxed. Hats and cups Hats and cups are a very important part of a gentleman's wardrobe. Let's see what Benedict has in his classy arsenal. As a genuine British man, Benedict often goes public wearing one of his flat caps. Such caps are considered to be a traditional element of British and Irish country wardrobe, which means that originally it's not a city street fashion item. Benedict has them in various colors, but he wears grey ones more often. He put it on to an outfit with a sweater, black leather jacket, blue jeans and a pair of brown Chelsea boots. Of course, here the grey scarf and dark glasses. He's been noticed in a similar look, but with lighter shade of jeans and another pair of sunglasses. A short notice. For some reason, the actor prefers wearing grey scarves only. Look at such a scarf combined with a velvet bomber jacket, burgundy t-shirt, dark blue rolled up jeans and a pair of Chelsea boots matching the jacket's color. The only accessory here is black sunglasses. The next Benedict's flat cap look is worn with a basic white t-shirt, light blue linen shirt, warm navy blue jacket and dark grey flat cap on his head. Look, what's there looking out of brown, a bit faded Chelsea boots? Yep, those are pink socks. That was the look that Benedict wore when he came for lunch with his parents at a British pub. He really looks like a British farmer. In the next look, his grey flat cap was worn with a matching grey linen blazer, faded brown dotted shirt, black skinny jeans and black leather shoes. Apart from flat caps, Benedict wears hats quite often, but they don't always match his type. The thing is that hats with two high crowns may visually enlarge the face, and the actor's face is already narrow and oval. He, Benedict, is wearing a blue Lacoste polo shirt, short blue trench coat, grey pants and white tennis shoes. After all, that was the look he wore to a tennis match. The accessories are presented by personal sunglasses and a blue straw hat with a white blue band around the crown. For the look with the white straw hat, Benedict chose to wear a light grey blazer, salmon shirt, dark grey trousers and sand moccasins. A colorful smiling woman next to him is his mother. Next look consists of a white t-shirt, faded blue shirt underneath, a loose black leather jacket plus grey trousers. Note that the actor isn't wearing a belt, he has suspenders instead. There's also a large black bag black leather shoes and a grey fedora hat, a la Frank Sinatra. What do you think about these hats and caps? Do you think they fit the actor's type or not? Comment your opinion below. The hero of today's video is a genuine London dandy. He prefers classic style of clothing. These are suits and monochrome looks. He definitely knows how to look stylish both on the red carpet and in everyday life. Benedict successfully combines various trench coats, hats and cups, scarves and other garments and accessories from his personal wardrobe. His sense of style and fashion must be obvious, he's been brought up in an aristocratic environment. Benedict Cumberbatch knows perfectly well what clothes fit him depending on his frame and natural appearance. You also can be Britishly fashionable, wear more for different events, not clothes that fit you and which don't choose calm faded shades, 
and try to put scarves into your everyday outfits. It's more than appropriate with such weather. If you need help with identifying your appearance type, check videos on Be Bigger channel. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell button, so you won't miss something interesting.